Paul from High Tech Legion, and we'll be taking a look at the Intel Visual BIOS for the new DZ87KLT75K motherboard built for Haswell. This is the Kinsley motherboard. So let's go ahead and start. As you can see, it's a UEFI, and everything is fairly laid out pretty nice in front of you and this right now is the easy mode so let's go ahead and take a look of course it says Intel Visual BIOS up on the top right here you can do a search if you want to type something in no event found etc to the right of course it has the Intel logo if we look down below it says what the board is our BIOS version our processor total memory system date and time and then of course up here we have different things this is to take a snap this right here is to take a snapshot of your screen of course this is the set of favorites if we click on that that's for the search of uh that's for a search and you can do ma manage profiles there or you can load defaults Right here are settings, update BIOS, launch EFI app, screen capture, about visual BIOS, etc. If we go down into the advanced key, we can go, go ahead to our advanced mode and look at our different items, which we will do in a couple minutes. But let's go ahead and look over to the left here. Of course, it says boot order. Basically, right now we're in UEFI, so it's going to boot up the UEFI. If we go to legacy, then we could actually set which ones we want just by dragging them up or down. If we click on advanced, it's going to bring us to the boot manager, but let's go back to the home page first before we go into that. Now over here, we have our overclocking assistant. Basically, it's pretty simple. If you want to, um, Intel has auto-tuned the board. So just by taking your slider over, you can go ahead and what it will do is by, by adjusting your slider, it will give you predetermined predetermined numbers based on what Intel has put into the board. Now, granted, if you do something that your chip cannot, cannot do, it's not going to work. So within reason, this will work. As you can see, at 4.6, it'll set, it'll set the offset to 0.20, the processor current limit to 1,000, burst mode to 1,000, sustain mode power limit to 1,000. This is uh, millivolts. So we'll go ahead and bring, back the, bring that back down to 3.9 or, oh, there we go. All right, and then we'll click over to graphics. Same thing with the graphics, you could Overclock your graphics card from here. Just go up, you know, bring it, bring up the, bring up the gigahertz a little bit. And of course, as you can see, it'll bring up the multiplier while you do that and the graphics offset. Next would be memory. Want to set your timings on your memory? Right here. It will read your XMP settings, so it will automatically change them. So as you can see, this is 2400 memory, and that's the max that it's going to go because it's on the uh, SPD for the XMP settings. Let's look at cooling. We could, we have another slider for cooling. We go from quiet to cool. It has nine settings. And as you can see, while I do that, the graph will then move itself, so it'll adjust automatically your fan curve. Over here we have tuning, which again is under advanced, so I'm not going to do that. We have UEFI apps. Of course, these are apps that you could launch from your UEFI. BIOS update. Choose a BIOS file. So if I had a thumb drive in there, I could read off the BIOS file. Go ahead and flash my BIOS. And of course, we have profiles. We could set different profiles here. So we could save our profiles. We get a good overclock. We have everything we want. We go ahead, save a profile, and there you go. Down below, of course, it is your just your just a quick reference F7 to update BIOS, alternate to reveal shortcut keys, F9 loads defaults, Control H, see all shortcuts. Of course, F10 save and save and exit tab is next menu, Control D add favorite item and escape. Of course, discharge. And to the very right, 
send us feedback at visualbiles at intel.com or tweet them at Twitter at visualbios. Okay, so this is, I want to call it easy mode. So let's go ahead and we'll tab over here and then we'll take a look at our, our slot and port connections. Basically what this is going to do is when we slide, slide over on the tab, it's going to show you your slot and port connections and it's going to tell you what devices are which. You also have your fan speeds, your temperatures, and your thresholds. That scrolls up and down on the bottom there for thresholds. And then we have SATA devices. So it'll show you which SATA ports are which. So when we look, this is SATA port, port 0, SATA port 1, SATA port 2, 3, 4, 5. This is your hot capability, SATA port 2 hot capabilities, and then if we go down, we have secondary SATA devices. This is an AS Media controller, and you can install the software and set it once you, uh, once you, once you have something set in there, it will detect it. We'll go over to the next tab. Our next tab is our system information. And of course, it'll show you what you have in your system, manufacturer, etc. Chassis information. Your board information, of course. And all your MRCs and LAN MAC addresses, etc. under your processor signature or other information. So that's all the tabs that you can access from the easy screen as I like to call it. Now let's go ahead to advanced and we'll go to devices. You have main, of course. Oh, well, let me go to main first. All right, this is your processor information. System date and time, very easy to set. Default bio start page. Basically, you click that down, you can start from any page you would like to. I'll go ahead and click set on that. I think I just reset the time and didn't click set. But now we have memory information. Tol tells us our total memory, how many, what the speed is, how many gigs we have in each slot, what's populated, what's not. This is your event logging. Our next tab is going to be devices. So now once we get into our advanced area, all you have to do is tab over or you can just click on here. So this is our USB and it shows you your USB ports, what's enabled, what's not enabled. From there we can go to our SATA, of course set to AHCI, it'll show you what you have populated in each port. You can also set your hot plugs, secondary SATA, AHCI, of course it's not installed, I don't have anything in there. Then we go to video, integrated graphics devices, IGD minimum memory, Primary video adapter I have set to auto, IGD, which is your internal graphics display. Everything's set to auto here. Onboard devices. So we have our audio, our front panel audio, HDMI display port audio, LAN, secondary LAN. Yes, this does have dual LAN on it. Also has IEEE and Thunderbolt. Security level, unique ID. You can click that down and I just usually leave it at the default. And also you can cha change your power phase LEDs to blink or be always on. Right to the right we have our legacy device configuration for our PS2 port, the enhanced consumer I IR, high precision event timers, and the number lock. Under PCI we have our latency timers, what slots are populated. Since I have nothing populated right now, of course you're not going to see populated. And then we have an add-in configuration. This is an add-in configuration for the Intel Ethernet LANs. Like I said, this is dual LAN. So basically by clicking on that, you're just going to go ahead and be able to configure it. Sliding over to the next tab, we have our cooling, we have our fan speeds, we have our temperatures and thresholds as I showed you before. So basically by scrolling over, what you can do is 
Now I'm, I'm, of course, I'm on CPU fan, and you can see CPU fan header, fan usage processor. It'll, you can tell it what it's going to use. You can change all your cycles, all your settings, etc. As you go down, it's the same thing. CPU core temp. These are your. You can set your temperature thresholds on when you want the system to shut down, or you want it to, you know, start throttling back on you. It'll use the use the algorithms. Your VR temp, memory temp. Everything can be set here. It, this also shows you your voltages, your overvolt and your undervolt, your system total voltage, and your CPU graphics core. So let's go ahead over to the next. This is the performance dashboard. This is where you're going to make your manual changes when you're going to go ahead and performance tune your board. So basically right now we have a host clock set at 100. Input voltage. Input voltage I normally leave at zero when I'm using this board. And then we have an integrated volt voltage regulator, which is actually the PWM, which is on the chip. Right now, this is the ring. So, of course, the ring is set to 38, so that's the minimum that, that the uh, turbo core is going go, to go down to. And, of course, I have not added any, any voltage to the ring, which is to the PWM. Then we have our cores here. Cores basically click on that, brings down a slider, slide it to what you want it to. Graphics the same way, brings down a slider. All right, let's click down here to get that to come up. Memory, same thing. And down below everything, we have our voltages. Basically, by clicking on them, when you click on one of these voltages here, you can go ahead and set it to offset only. You can set it to interpolated and offset, which is basically adaptive. And then you can set it to static and offset. So that's what you're going to what you're going to set your voltages on over here. Now, what I normally do is I set it to static and offset because that'll basically make my board static and keep a specific amount of voltage that I want. You also have system agent voltage, analog I.O. voltage, and digital I.O. voltage. This is for your ring voltage again, and of course your processor core voltage. When we go to the next tab, of course this is for security, this is to secure your, your BIOS. You don't want anybody getting in your BIOS? Go ahead and set a password. Security features. Uh, chassis intrusion. Unattended BIOS configuration. Execute disable bit. Virtualization technology is on. And fix, fix this fixed disk boot sector is at normal. Going over to the next, we have our power settings. Intel Dynamic Power Technology, of course you know what that is, that's going to utilize the Haswell chip to minimize the amount of consumption that you're using. Processor power efficiency policy, high performance right now, you could go ahead and set that to balanced or low power. And then of course we have our secondary power settings. Intel rapid start technology, hibernation timer, smart connect, power supervision shutdown, and of course all your C states are going to be in here. And then finally we come to boot. Again, this is like the front, but it's expanded. So we have our UEFI boot priority, and then to the right we have our legacy boot priority. Again, all you got to do is that, and it'll change. Boot configuration, it'll show you what options you have under here, fast boot, boot USB device first, etc. So if you want to change it, you got a USB device, you're putting Windows, you know, you're installing Windows off of a thumb drive, go ahead and put it on that. Your boot de device's internal UEFI shell, USB optical, and then of course network. And then your boot display configuration, expansion card text, keyboard, ready beep, postcode, routing, of course it's on board, or you can use PCI, doesn't matter. And of course, last but not least is secure boot. Secure boot, you can set your settings for secure boot. And if this is enabled in the BIOS, of course, your boot options will be there, and you could enable or dis disable any of the devices that you want. Platform key, signature database, install pl Intel platform key. These are platform keys that uh, that you could get. 
Well, in any case, let's go back to the home page and go back to processor here. That's been our quick over Intel Visual BIOS by Intel for the new DZ87KLT75K motherboard. Make sure you visit us at hightechlegion.com, www.hightechlegion.com for the full review. Of course, subscribe to our High Tech Legion YouTube channel. That's what you're watching right now. So why don't you do that while you're here? Just click subscribe down below. You can visit us and like us on Facebook at facebook.com front slash HTL reviews. Of course, we do have a Twitter and that will be twitter.com front slash high tech legion. I want to say thank you and remember with over a thousand videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it at high tech legion, you might not have seen it at all. Stay thirsty, my friends. Have a great day. Bye bye.